Hey guys, this is Clint Jeff from ZomaGuysTJ.com and here's a quick look at the Windows Phone 7 Mango update and the new things it brings to the operating system. Um, so basically, starting off from the home screen, this is how it is. Um, you have a quick list of any um, things you have on your schedule or on your calendar. And a little notification at the bottom that shows you any emails that you have. Um, you push it up and you have the main menu right there, which you can slide to see a list of all the apps. Um, the list of apps now has a little indicator right there, which you can... Um, used to see uh, all of them alphabetically arranged or you can also search for an app if you have too many uh, so yeah that is basically one small addition one new thing is also the um, web browser has been massively improved uh, as you can see there's also tabs that you can switch between um, which is very fast as you can see there's also a recent um, history favorites you can add a page to your favorites share a page pin it to your start menu and go to settings now the settings menu is pretty cool because um, it lets you switch between viewing mobile versions of sites or the desktop version if you want um, and you can also delete your history uh, very cool stuff for sure going back um, one thing that's also new in the mango update is multitasking you can press and hold the back button to get to your multitasking menu. Um, one thing that I am not really a big fan of in multi in the main uh, multitasking view on Windows Phone 7 is that it's only um, holding your last six apps, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So um, when you open a new app, for example, if I were to open up pictures, it would effectively drop the last um, app right there. So if I press and hold that, go back, you would see that I dropped the Twitter app from the menu. So yeah, it's not very cool. It also does this whole um, freezing the state that the apps were in, similar to how iOS does it. But at least now iOS, you have all the apps open right there, um, at least in the, in the menu. So yeah, it's not my favorite uh, implementation of multitasking, but at least it is here, but you are limited to the last six apps, um, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, also improved is the people and me view, where you can um, post a status right there, or check into places, and um, you have your notifications, uh, what's new, all pulled in from your Facebook and your Twitter. Very, very cool, for sure. Um, also, the people's app, the people's hub, at least in this case, is very cool. You can get stuff in from all your contacts and um, pulling, pull things in from Facebook, from Twitter. All very cool. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick look at what's new on the Windows Phone Mango update. Um, we have a much more detailed post on zomagoycg.com. Do check out the blog post and let us know what you think. Or if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below.